when you cut a tree, uh, the wood will, will bend. When it's sliced up, it springs a little bit. When it's dried, it moves a little bit more. Oh, you end up with your 10-foot boards coming from the lumberyard, already dried, that have a lot of curve to them. At 10 feet, it's too long to include a flat piece inside it. It's not made flat because if they tried to make it flat, you may be able to see this. There's a little bit of curve across the bottom of that. This is an exaggerated board. If you extrapolate that this curve continues right here, there's a lift to this board from this point to this point. That's up in the air about a quarter of an inch. If you want a flat board out of this board, you're going to lose a quarter of an inch right here and right here. And you may not even have three quarters of an inch left in this. If you're talking about an eight foot board or a 10 foot board, it's almost never going to contain a straight uh, three quarter inch board if it starts off at one inch, which is what Lumber starts off at regular inches, exceptions. So they don't try because they don't know how long you want it. We buy a thicker, we cut it shorter. If this were shorter, you can fit a th thicker piece in it because the total rise is less. The straight line has less of a gap right here. So that's why we do it. And the jointer is the tool that does flatten lumber for you.